Hello everyone and welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Today we're going to have a Time Spiral Remastered Battle. In these particular battles we have five participants, they get six packs a piece, and then the additional six packs are left out because whoever has the highest and the lowest converted to mana cost gets a couple extra packs. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, that's how you get on the giveaways. Uh, we just gave away an entire box of Time Spiral in the last video. We'll be giving away an entire box of whatever is out when we hit 9,000 subscribers. I'm going to guess it's going to be Strict Saving. Uh, we'll see, though. And if you're needing yourself some Strict Saving, you haven't put a pre order in now, there's some affiliate links in the description for Magnolia Gaming. Uh, go over there, grab yourself a box. And let's get everything divvied up here. Like I said, five people, six packs a piece, and we will get to cracking. And I guess I should say mana value. I've got to get used to saying mana value instead of converted mana cost. Eventually, that's what it'll be. We have to say the correct name or people will look at us funny. All right, I think that should be good there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good there. I pre-randomized the stacks before we started the video. In stack number one, we are going to have Micah, followed by a tool. Then the late, the great, the still here, Paz Brown, Wyatt, Jameson, and let's get started. Uh, Mike is going to start things off for us. And what does everybody think about Strict Saving so far? I think there's a lot of really cool cards in it. Um, some people have been, there's been a lot of controversy about the artwork, whether you like it or if it's original art. It's interesting that so far the artwork has been some of the, uh, the biggest stories. All right, so Mike is going to start off with a Glittering Wish and a Shriek Maw for seven. So the way this will work is I'll keep track of everything as we go. Um, it's going to be really, it's going to, it's going to have a tough act to follow after Time Spiral. This set was so good, and it's still so good, that Strixhaven is going to have a lot to live up to. So hopefully those etched foils will really, really be nice to carry the set and Magus of the Future for five with a waste. Beautiful, beautiful old border on that waste. Too bad it doesn't count towards the mana value. Pack number three. And if you'd like to get on these kind of battles, we run these nearly every day in my Facebook group, Kraken Packs MTG. So just go over there and join up and watch for the post, Tolaria West and a Vanquisher's Banner. Ooh, okay. A little bonus action here. So the Teleri West, of course, it being a land, does not have any converted mana cost, but that's a nice banner. Plus, we got a Foil Sarah's Avenger. So that's a total of seven. Really nice stuff there. And of course, we're looking for that time shift of foil. That's where the big value is located. You can get, you know, of course, in the regular slot, you can get Tarmogoyf, you can get Sliver Legions. Sedge Sliver. Raven Inspector, and a Scribe Ranger. Four there? I think that's four. I think the original foil, foil Scribe Ranger, before it got the reprint, was worth quite a bit, too. I don't know if that still holds, or... Usually reprints uh, affect the, the value of the older cards a little bit. Life and Limb for four, and a Hollow One for five. Nice pack, nine converted mana. Put it over here, and so that gives us 12, 19, 30, 32, I believe. And remember, all these all these totals aren't official until I uh, until I recount it, but it'll be close. But we got to remember, I am counting on the on the fly, and I'm not a genius. Nobody will ever claim that. So, Tool, you're up. Let's see what you get in your first pack. Banalish Commander for a four. And a crystal shard for a three. So that'll be seven. And I don't know, today is my birthday, and I had somebody in my Facebook group send me a, it was an anonymous package, and it came from a company called Anonymous Potato. Ooh, that's a, that's a, this is a really good card for these battles. That's a Greater Gargadon, Arch of Araska. Okay, so that is a big beefy boy, 10 mana for the Gargadon. Um, it was a package from a company called Anonymous Potato, and they send you a potato in a bag with a couple stickers that say Anonymous Potato, and they will write whatever you want them to 
on that potato. So to, to say I was surprised to see that in the mail is an understatement. I, I've got a good idea who sent it. Boom and bust for eight. Young Pyromancer. That one's a total of 10 as well. A tool is getting double digits in every pack almost. They will send people anything in the mail these days. That's all I've got to say. But I laughed for a good five minutes when I when I saw that. Stuffy doll. And a gorgeous Sylvan Silver Shrine. Seven mana there. So does everybody think we'll get another another print of this? I think they've they've already denied any more print runs. But who knows? It's it's so successful. It it has to be tempting for them to fire up the printers one more time. We have the nodes. Ooh, thought seas. And a foil sliver. Nice thought seas hit there. For two more. Let's do a little addition and subtraction here. Just addition. 27, 34. So Tool is slightly ahead right now. I don't know if you guys are aware of who Paws B is, but that stands for Paws Brown. He's got his own YouTube channel. And it goes by Paws Brown. Go check it out and stay positive. That's one of his uh, his catchphrases. Hive Stone and a Containment Priest. He's going to start with a four. That Containment Priest has seen more prints in the past two years than I think is necessary. Let's, let's give it a break. Wheel of Fate with a Bond. Okay. That'll be five. So Paws actually participated in my, uh, the week before the set was released, I did a, a marathon live stream on Twitch from Magnolia Gaming. We opened about 50 boxes of these, and uh, Paws participated in it, and that guy ended up opening a foil true name Nemesis, Pulmonic Sliver, Sky Summoner, and our foil, Alicia Who Smiles at Death. Not the best one, but you know what? At least we got one, because we've seen a couple of these boxes that didn't contain one. So we will uh, we'll count our blessings, and we will take it. And that is also a 12-mana pack. Very strong start for Paws. Got the time-shifted foil. Lucky you. And it's funny, I was just uh, talking about how he received the, the true name in the big live stream we did. Ooh, High Arcanist for 7. Sliver for two. Just a foil judge unworthy. Nine more. Paws is putting up some little little bit better totals in the second half of the stack here than he did in the first two packs. May keep him in the uh, the hunt for the prize packs. Coalition Relic. Absolutely love this card. Parharmonicon. Or Panharmonicon. Pardon my French. So that's seven more. Nice card. Let's add up Paz's total. Thus, thus far, it's 37. Good job. Hear me counting. I'm trying to do math in my head. Not always successful. All right, Wyatt. Wyatt's been pretty active in the group lately. He's gotten quite a few of these battles and breaks we do. So thank you for, uh, for joining us, Wyatt. Mangara of Corondor and a Tide Hollow Sculler. Very useful card. Starting off with a five. And has anybody had a chance to play Arena on your phone yet? It's now available on Android and iPhones. I've not downloaded it yet. I've always been a, uh, a desktop user of it. So I'm curious how it plays on a phone. Petroglyphs, conscripts. I mean, I guess that's one way of, uh, I feel like Arena is really gonna take off now. Because everybody's got a phone. Not everybody has a, uh, a PC capable of running Arena. So I'm, I may, when we get off the, when I get doing the video, we may, we may download it. Rada, Read the Bones, and a Drakeling. That's five. Reality Acid. A lot of people were excited to see that card reprinted. Manatite, like white, needs a counterspell. 
Vesuvian Shapeshifter, Timber Battle Rage. That is one seven mana pack. And there's multiple ways to do these. Uh, you could do it by value. I just feel like converted mana costs, like on the fly like this, is the easiest, uh, least debatable way to do it. Cloud Key, awesome little rare. Ruins and a Street Wraith. Card got new art. Three more for Wyatt. Let's do a little math. That's a 29. Jameson, your last but not least. This is your first battle. First time opening anything here on the channel or the Facebook group. We do appreciate it. Of course, that spirit guide's in that number one slot. He always shows up in that first three cards for some reason. Assume it has something to do with the track printing. Jay of Ballard. Dread Horde. And a foil tomb stalker, our second foil rare. Not counting the time shifted cards, so that's eight, ten, and thirteen. That's a huge first pack for Jameson. And it, it tends to the, the new participants always get lucky in the group. I don't know what it is. It's that, uh, it's that, that new person luck, I guess. Karabek for seven. Zulaport. So a 13 followed by a 9. Well on your way of taking the top spot. But remember the top spot and the bottom spot also receive a couple a couple bonus packs. Sudden spoiling. That's so creepy. Prime time. And a full Utopia Val. That's 9 more. Jameson is really showing no mercy here with these packs. Had a couple of really good cards too. Edge of Autumn, Delay, Heartwood Storyteller, and Santa Claus. Okay, came back down to earth a little bit with this pack, just six mana. And we got one more, then we will uh, we'll finish that last row and see who walks away victorious. Wow, a Chroma's Memorial and a Course of Crucifix. That's a very nice pack. That's 10 mana, too. Good grief. Like I said, Jameson didn't... He's not messing around whatsoever. Um, let me do this math in my head, because this is a lot more than, uh, than I thought it was. Dang, that's, I think that's 47. Holy moly. Let me pull these down. That way we can see everybody's name. All right, so far we've got Micah at 32, we got a Tool at 36, Paws at 37, Wyatt at 29, and Jameson just knocked down a huge 47. All right, so here's Micah's last pack. Gemstone Caverns, okay. With a Nature's Claim, I guess if you're not going to hit a huge... Mana cost, you might as well hit one of the big mythics. And depending on what happens with everybody else, that get, puts him in the position to take the low spot. So that's about as well as that could have went for Micah. Beautiful gemstone caverns, too. Angel Salvation and a Vandal Blast. Man, we were really hoping that second card was a beefy one as well. So that's just going to add nine more. Not going to be enough. All right, Paws really needs, he needs at least 10 to tie for the lead currently. A double Gargadon pack would do it. I don't know if that's possible. Safi, not going to do it, girl. Fibble Thip. And just four more for Paws. He did get the shifted foil. So that is a victory unto itself. Two more packs. All right, looks like Wyatt and Micah are playing for low spot. Wyatt's at 29, Micah's at 33. So this pack decides it. Mary the Cursed, Exquisite Firecraft. Six more. I think that locks it down for Micah. It does. 
And Jameson, he's already in the top spot. He's already won. But we're going to open one more pack to see how far he can extend his lead. I don't think you can get negative. So I think he's safe. Angel's Grace. And, of course, this says you can't lose the game. So Dignitary and a Crit Claw Transmuter. So Jameson definitely did not lose the game. What's the total there? That'll be five. So that puts him at 52. So the final totals are Mike is at 33, Atul's at 45, Paws is at 41, Wyatt's at 35, and Jameson's at 52. So that means Jameson and Micah both get three extra packs. So this will be Micah's first prize pack. We'll just kind of zip through these. That way we're not wasting a ton of time. Sarah Avenger. Oh, Kiki Jiki. Nice, nice little extra hit there. We like the... The Kiki Jiggy. Practically, practically a mythic hit. Having trouble getting in this pack. Prize pack number two for Micah. And it will be a Nether Trader and a Beast Whisper. Really like that Beast Whisper in the shifted frame. Feels like he just belongs, belongs there. He's like, get me out of Guilds of Ravnica and put me in an old frame. All right, last prize pack. Sulfur Elemental. Dried Arbor, nice little hit. And a Lab Man. Okay. All in all, Micah was very successful in this battle. Jameson, it's your turn. Will we get a second time-shifted foil? Fingers crossed. We would like to see another one. Draining Wilk. Knight of the Reliquary, very underrated card. Two more packs. If you guys haven't already, like I said, please subscribe and like the video and just drop me a comment. That is how I pick the winners of the giveaways. I go to the video, I load it into a random comment selector, Aeon Chronicler, and Flicker Wisp, and that's how you get picked to win stuff. So make sure you're dropping those comments and make sure you're subscribed. It makes a big difference. And this will be our last pack. And once again, guys, thank you for uh, for joining me, allowing me to do this for you. Thank you for watching. Summoner's Pact, a Johnny's Primate, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.